this, you old enough, Miss Valerie, Miss McElhenney. You know, I'm talking to young white people that don't know who that is because they're not from here. So that's why they can't get with this. I mean, you hear me. I, I'm, I'm gonna haunt you. We need to return to residency law. They don't live here. They don't live here. They ain't from here. They can't understand why. And the only answer for why you're doing this to us can't be because you went other places. I go all over America. I don't see no other places doing no better than us. So where did they, they go and look at the place? You know what I did? I found out where they were from. They need to go home. The places they're from are doing bad. We still get the most tourism anywhere else in this country. And it's not about the facade. It's about our spirit and young ones. Have you been watching the, the editorials? The people saying they came here, what, not what they saw, but what they felt. What they felt from the people of New Orleans. And we need to do that. And let me say something to you. We know what we want at our ball. Don't bring us nothing else. Just let's keep it right. Let's keep it right. Who, who, who represented the CNA up there? Yeah, I see. You what? See, who got it? Okay, baby. I lived in been see when they would illegally change the lines. I lived in seven world, but I'm eight. I don't know what this is about. I haven't been president of NAACP. Our community has been royally violated by not giving us the right to vote. We couldn't put it on any ballot. By not giving us the right to vote on this. And we know what I'm talking about. If, if, if this is bothering you to shoot too tight, you better figure out how to wear it differently. We will not. Because you know, y'all keep saying something else and I'm gonna tell the business industry. Well, they say they wanted to get it like this. I wanna know what business, local or nationally, would dare say that their consumer that spend their money with them got to give somebody else the authority before they contribute to this community. That don't sound good, y'all. That don't sound good. Because the energy don't need to up my bill to give something to Noah. <laughs> Let's get it straight. Let's get it right. <laughs> if that's how they're going to play this message, are you in charge of it? If that's how they plan on playing this, taking it from us this way and claiming and giving it to us over here, we're going to watch all of them. Because, you know, we haven't tried. Because we love New Orleans. Y'all see that? We haven't tried to boycott. But you can't handle an economic boycott. You can't handle not having a essence. You can't, you can't handle yes, the things that, that we bring here. Stand on that one. And Mitch, don't let this turn into an old, dirty, racist city. I've gone for 66 years. I've gone wherever I wanted to, whenever I wanted to in New Orleans. We can't get no rules and it's based on the backs of the poor baby. Because you know what? Look at this. We can ready to spend how much to search around the world to find somebody to come do our children. That's crazy, though. Just think about what I'm saying. Look back at home. I know you're poor, you know. You can't tell me that I got to go look for somebody to be as better than you. Y'all hear what I'm saying to you? Look at home. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Huh, baby? Yes, ma'am. Where we going to find this big old best and brightest from? Are we saying all these billions we spending, we ain't growing nothing homegrown that can do what we supposed to be doing in our city? No. We put bitches. This boy is the son of one of the most infamous people who have existed in this country. I did. And I called him Robert because I was friends with his dad. He wouldn't. Why not it be the drug here? Maybe we both out of here if he was still here. Because he wasn't scared. He was qualified. And he, I know what he grew. I started with your poor baby. You know what I'm saying? You won't tell me he grew dummies. No. They're not capable of doing this. Your mama had your dog, both couple tribes. All y'all hanging everywhere. You mean to tell me y'all ain't gonna qualify for this? Come on, let's get it right. 
Because I promise you, nothing short of death. I'm gonna take my last one. Tell me again. That. Three of babies on the back. Yeah. One worked at Whole Food, one worked at Avondale, and the young men who put it in their pocket and contributed to know it. For our children. I ain't got nothing against little Vic, and he homegrown, y'all better be very careful while you searching over somewhere else. But I'm saying to you all tonight, look like we're trying to duplicate something. We put pride Jolene Jeff out of her house, brought her to my park, now it's stolen, put her somewhere else. And it's okay because she's got the knowledge to share with us. But we know that we ain't fighting you about that, is what I'm saying. We don't know this best and right as y'all would. I hope it like party folk and a lot of people who sitting up there sometime. I hope they like them, because if they're they taking us up. So, and, then, and then this man, but you check on this. I was in shock. The man is supposed to be running our schools. Paul he was standing behind his candidate. He could have run somebody's campaign in Chicago. How are you going to do this? Y'all oh, <laughs> have a blessed day. All I'm asking you, don't, don't etch us in that stone, y'all. We're ready to etch. We're not going with that. Thank you, Mom. Thank you so much. Y'all wish Mom and me happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mom.